Mailbag. Yo, JC writes in with several talking points and a couple questions. Before we dive in, I just want you to know I'm loving getting these questions. I'm going to try to get answers out as quick as I can, but please keep sending questions in. I saw your stuff on YouTube, blog stuff, wants uh, to contact you about starting a sharpening business. Smart. I've been kicking around the idea for years. Finally pulled the trigger on a name and a web domain. I don't have any equipment or skill at the moment, but wanted to secure the name. And Okay, that's cool. That's cool. The only, um, the only thing that comes to mind for me there is just like uh, be careful coming out the gate buying stuff without making money too. You know what I mean? But that's fine. That's cool. I want to sharpen mostly small kitchen knives or kitchen knives, uh, but I want to do scissors. Okay. My thought on that is like maybe pick one to start with. I have a business degree, so I have a handle on that end. I want to pause for a moment there to offer two things. Uh, first off, if uh, if you're watching this and you don't have a business degree, don't worry about it. I think that uh, my opinion is that you don't need one. Uh, again, my opinion is uh, that if you have a business degree like JC does, uh, well, I tip my hat to you for, for, for getting that degree. My impression is that uh, like the way the IRS classifies a small business is it is a business with 50 or less employees. And my, I think that MBAs are structured around businesses like that and bigger. So I'm just a little concerned that the material covered in the MBA is not suit is not directly suited to someone trying to start up um, a business that in the scheme of things doesn't even hit the scale as a small business. The biggest thing that I need to worry about and that people like me need to worry about is making sure that we don't trigger the IRS that we're a hobby, right? And there's a few things that we do to uh, do that so that we can still uh, write off our business expenses um, and we don't raise a flag making us look like a hobby and we're trying to scam it. So use that how you wish. But I'm nervous about my first equipment purchase. Yeah, right? Like, is there not a ton of equipment available? Mm -hmm. Eventually want a Tormek, but that's not in the budget at the moment. I have a Tormek, it's over there. Uh, I definitely can relate with that that draw, that desire to want a Tormek. There are very few cases where I would suggest a Tormek being the right tool out the gate. I've been looking at the Edge Pro system and wanted to ask about the value of professional versus Apex. Okay, so if you've, if you've watched any of my videos, you know I am an Edge Pro guy. The Debate around professional model versus Apex model comes down to, I think, three things. I should clarify, I don't have the pro model, so I'm just going off of what I think I know. Number one, on the pro model, you get more stroke, so you wear the whole stone more than you would on just the Apex. Point two, on the pro model, you can adjust the angle less so that you can get a shallower angle on the knife. Number three, with the Pro model, it has a different base with a beefier suction capability. Those are, as far as I know, those are really the driving factors that separate the Pro model from the Apex model. And here's how I've addressed them. For the stroke, there's nothing you can do. As far as, like, whatever. So you wear your stones maybe a little bit more than you would, but you're still gonna be dishing them out like you do on the Apex. For the angle, I, make, I came up with this thing called the, um, it's called a serrated blade shim. I sell them. Uh, and this is something you put under the spine of the knife, lift it up, you can get a lower angle. The place where that matters is in serrated blades, whether it's kitchen knives and sometimes carry knives, like partially serrated carry knives. And for the uh, mounting, Edge Pro has even addressed that issue with a bench mount for the Apex. Maybe you've seen mine, I have a, I built a thing out of plywood to, uh, to mount it, you could also permanently bench mount it. I guess the point is there are uh, there are three really affordable alternatives to the issues that might in inspire you to buy the professional model. None of them come close to the two hundred and fifty dollar. Really, it's more than twice as much um, for a comparable. You know, they have several different kits and it comes with all different stuff, but. Essentially, for the it's about twice as much. I don't know that I I, I don't have a good reason to buy a professional model. And if uh, it sounds like you and I have something in common, where like we we kind of get the itch to get some stuff and tools, and like I'm guilty of that. Uh, but there's I'm not going to be saving up money for a professional model 
uh, there's a lot of things that are gonna come in my shop before that. Last point on this, call them up. Call Ben, ben and Cody, uh, tell them your situation, tell them what they think. I think it's just those two dudes, they're in Oregon, they'll answer the phone, they'll talk to you about sharpening for as long as you want. Good people, let them know, your, let, see, if, see what they think. Hopefully that helps. Uh, I wanna do scissor sharpening because I have, might be an opportunity to, to capture some contracts for scissors. I'm curious what that is. I'm almost wondering if you should orient your like orient your business for starting out with scissors if you already have a lead in that place. When it comes down to tooling again, I I just can't I don't think you're going to find anything close to the twice as sharp from Wolf Industries for doing scissors especially if you're doing them at a commercial scale. Thank you for the information on YouTube. It's really helped me to get this thing going. Thank you for that. I am stoked that anything that I'm doing is helping you or anyone else take action, take ownership, take responsibility for some some money, whether it's a side hustle or retirement gig. Uh, I, yeah, that's why I'm putting this energy in, so I appreciate that. Okay, I hope that helps. If you found any value in that, please hit the subscribe button, smash the thumbs up, and send those questions in. I'll be turning them around as quick as I can. If it takes me time, just be patient. And thanks for watching. Catch you next time.